David Moynihan. I have been working in clay for about 26 years now. Um, the Cottage Potter Studio is a culmination of um, watching every studio and that I've worked in or been part of um, over that time. Um, and it's a place where I can um, share uh, what I've learned about clay and let other people just explore through it and, and just have sort of a little new hobby or respite outside of life and just play with the clay. The studio houses uh, 14 wheels and about the same amount of space for uh, for hand building. Um, I'm currently sitting at just under 100 members who come in on their own time and then with my help make um, all kinds of wonderful things. Um, most of the time they work out. I run classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday afternoon and evening and I have uh, depending on the month two or three other teachers who work with me. Um, so we do a very individual based teaching style so we put everybody at the wheels or at the table and, and essentially work one on one with everybody and just keep going around rather than one big lesson for the group kind of thing so it, it does make it a little more intimate that way um, and then on weekends it's private events so groups will come in whether it's a birthday party for a six year old or a seven year old um, and they, uh, they get this front studio space by themselves and, and uh, I like to say they bring the, the the sense of adventure and fun, and I provide the mess and the success, and, uh, and then they walk away with some some good memories and some um, some little masterpieces. Um, I also go in and out of schools across Southwest Ontario, um, or bring them here um, to provide uh, a clay experience for for students who otherwise in their school wouldn't have the have the means or the, the training. To do that. Like I say, I've been in London since 2000. Um, for the most part, I've lived on the South End. One of the big issues with any of the other studios I've worked with is, is transportation for people who are either, um, we'll say, post-driving age or pre-driving age, um, or who, who students who don't have a car. So being centrally located, one, anybody can bus here, um, just straight up Richmond or Wellington. Um, and second, to be this close to all the festivals that are in the park. Um, one of the best parts about London for me is, is Victoria Park and how you can just randomly walk up on it any weekend in the summer. And um, I, get to be, I get to be part of that whole buzz that happens and that culture that, 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 that I think stems from that. And there's so many, um, so many people I've met over the years run or live in this area um, that are the kind of people I want in my life so I, it just was appropriate to find it here and then thankfully um, uh, the space uh, of Faris came up and it was it's it's perfect um, it has some history it's been updated a bit but it still has that relaxed feel um, the neighbors um, pop by randomly when they're walking their dog and come in and chat and yeah, it just has the culture and the feel of, of, um, of comfort in a neighborhood someplace I'd like to have a cottage. Woodfield in five years. Um, the business owners that I've met and the, the homeowners that I've met, the landlords, um, the Woodfield community group, um, the desire to keep the history here is key because I think having attachments to those roots and then as the new culture comes in and as younger people try to to get into the neighborhood it gives that 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 root and that history to the neighborhood that then can make it feel um, desirable for people to come to there's some wonderful things happening and there's the, the youth of richmond row um in in striking that balance between um it's a great place for that but it's also a great place to wander see culture or just have a have food made by a, either a, a new young couple or a mom and pop and just be able to get a full full scope of culture and I think with 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 what the city's doing and with what the people who have the power to in the neighborhood are doing I only see it getting better um, and, and as I 
develop this place more and more. Sort of my duty, and I think anybody's duty who lives or works in the area to, to help be part of that, that bill. So, take about history for a second. Uh, the Bauhaus movement said that it makes sense to stack people in a column and take up less of the footprint and create a group community without going commune style. Create um, communal living where you share one main drink, one main things like that. And as the city grows, shy of tearing down all the beautiful old buildings and putting up a bunch of new small houses and, and strip townhouses, um, high rises are, are in my mind the only way to go to house more people without destroying the city. The question is where do you put them? And putting them where they're where people want to live, where they don't destroy the neighborhood that that is the reason people want to live there. And there's there's people who in, who are who are looking at that and people on both sides of it and and I just sort of trust that th those decisions that we made to locate them in the best the best possible positions. There's some little neighborhoods back on um, in Woodfield that you know could really handle a high rise sort of in the middle of them and and that would help that whole little area and give them you know the groundskeeping would be done and, and things and it would just it would just upgrade the whole neighborhood rather than tearing down some of the beautiful places. Um, yeah, this this building is one of those buildings that, um, being as old as it is, being the condition it was, um, being that it's smack in the middle of a parking lot. From a business perspective, it very easily could have made sense to tear it down and make another 12 parking spots. And I really appreciate that the developers that, that are considering giving some of these places a second chance to, to make it worthy of, uh, you know, adding to that bigger set of culture that'll make people want to live in the town houses and within the high rises as opposed to you know cut and pave. So thanks for coming. 253 Hyman Street, my little cottage.